Hello, and welcome to my sustainable house design plan. My name is Jacob Lytle, and I attend Ridley College in St. Catharines, Ontario. I'm in 8th grade. Before we begin, let it be noted that the program being used is SketchUp Make. First, we have the outside of the house. The roof is made from recycled woodboard and thatch. Rather than having any windows in the house, I decided to place two very large sunroofs over each of the two main housing areas. These sunroofs can be closed at any time via remote control. There are also four solar panels, which collect the majority of the house's energy. The outer walls are made of cement blocks stuffed with green foam insulation from recycled plastic. The inner walling of the house is made of thin lodgepole pine planks, a tree na native to northern Ontario. All the doors in the house are made of recycled pressed wood. Crabgrass has been planted around the house. In the unlikely event that you don't know what crabgrass is, crabgrass is a type of grass that does not need to be watered in order to maintain its color. The length of the house is 66 feet, and the width is 39 feet 4 inches. The house and its property are located in northern Ontario. It is meant to house a family of four which will work the surrounding 15 acres of land to provide the majority of their meals. This is just a quick bird's eye view of the house. Now for the kitchen. All appliances in the kitchen have received an Energy Star approval rating meaning that they consume less energy than normal appliances, and that they don't need as much energy to perform tasks. Also, the stove is electric. A geothermal pipe system, not shown in the shop, provides heating to the house via these ventilation systems. The same pipe system also heats the water that is used for showering and cleaning. Now for the family room. This is the, the house's small family living room, located between the kitchen and the main corridors. The wood on the couch and TV stand are from strictly managed forests in South America. The canvas used on the couch has been repurposed from old couches. Both of these pieces of furniture have been acquired from environment furniture. Both TVs use LED lighting, and the other TV is in the master bedroom. TV. The thermostat remotely controls the heat output of the geothermal pipes located outside the house. The maximum heat setting is 72.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 22.5 degrees Celsius. The table and chairs in the dining room have also been acquired from environment furniture. The canvas on the chairs has also been repurposed and the table is made of recycled pressed wood. Now for the utility room. The washer and dryer, seen here have both received the Energy Star approval ratings. There is a 1,000 gallon per month water cap. Rather than using new water every time clothes are washed or a shower is taken, the water is rerouted to a second heating tank where it is boiled clean. <clears throat> the same cap applies to sinks and the dishwasher. The toilets are bare minimum flushing power using only 0.75 gallons per flush. The bunk bed in the children's room is made from wood sourced from monitored rainforests. It has also been acquired from environment furniture. Now each bedroom has its own bathroom. The shower in this room uses water at a reduced rate, totaling around 50 gallons for a 10 minute shower. All furniture in this bedroom, as well as the master bedroom shown here, has been acquired from environment furniture and the wood sourced from monitored rainforests. The lamp in this room shown here, as well as all the lights in the house, use LED bulbs. Now this master bedroom contains a very compact bathroom that also includes reduced water, water plumbing. There. And there's a single car garage with obviously only space for a single car, so don't try to put another one in. Connected to the garage is a small greenhouse building. Here, the residents can grow crops that would normally be unable to live in such conditions, such as northern Ontario. Now, here is a shot of the main geothermal pipe. Here, heat from the Earth's core helps to warm water in the house. Now, connected to the sloped greenhouse roof is a large gutter basin. 
This collects rainwater and contains it in large tanks that can then be emptied into the house's water tanks for future use. And finally, we have a view of one of the house's four solar panels. These collect the house's energy. These collect the sun's energy for the house. Pardon. And this concludes my sustainable house sketchup tour. Thank you for watching.